Hello everyone, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 here in episode 1 of our new series, which, as you can tell, we're back in Iberia in the 1066 start date this time, where we'll be playing as Aragon. This is episode 1 of The Crown of Aragon here in Crusader Kings 3. Um, I know our first series was in Iberia as well, but that was an 867 start date playing as Asturias. So this time we're playing as Aragon, a much harder start, but um, probably... Probably my favorite start in all of CK3 as it stands right now. Only got better um, since Fade of Iberia, though I've not played Aragon since Fade of Iberia came out. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this kind of changes the dynamic. But um, to quickly allay you of our starting position, uh, we have three whole counties over here. Um, they're, they're not great, pretty low dev, no, no real buildings, obviously no special buildings. Um, it's a very difficult start, probably one of the smallest starting kingdoms you can actually play as. Um, obviously Pisa and Venice are both considered kingdoms, but you can't play as them because they're uh, Republican realms. And uh, yeah, I, I genuinely... <clears throat> I genuinely don't know of a kingdom that starts off smaller in any of the start dates. Um, so, obviously we have all of our de jure here pretty big, but we're pushed all the way back here. We don't even hold our capital, which is currently held by this guy. Um, and we have half his troops. So it's kind of a rough start, but I've done it before. I'm familiar with it. Um, and I know how to do it pretty well. So we actually have a guy over here that we can negotiate an alliance with, which I will do... Um, through my spouse, which I, I wasn't aware of. So we start out as an intrigue focused guy. Not the biggest fan of that. We'll put our wife right over to stewardship so we can make a bit more money. Council is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, you've got one especially low skill, but that's just because they poorly optimized it. Um, Alright, so that's, a, that's looking a bit better. We can probably improve on both of these. Of course, we need a physician and a tutor as our main two court positions, so... Opening move in any game. Go and get all of your unmarried courtiers. In this case, we don't have many. Um, and go grab... Some good courtiers to fill important positions. So right there, she could be a physician and probably a court tutor. Um, now this is especially important in Aragon's case, and we'll get to why exactly in a bit. Um, there's a much better spy master. Um, we have a sister who's a nun, kind of tragic, because, well, once again, we'll see why in a bit. So we've got our siblings here. Um, and what we need with our siblings <laughs> is we need alliances. Um... <laughs> Not with Normandy or England, both of those are too tenuous. If William doesn't win an alliance with Normandy, doesn't mean much. If William does win an alliance with England, means nothing. So, don't want either of those. We could go for the Holy Roman Empire. I'm kind of intrigued. So, this wouldn't have been an option prior to the fate of Iberia. But an alliance with Toledo. Um, I mean, that would work. He's very big. He, he could obviously help me win these wars. I think I'm down to do that. Um, so obviously, at our f I'm going to be pursuing a different end of the struggle. In our first playthrough, we ended up getting... Um, what did we get? How do you see this? It's been a while since I did the struggle. Um... I don't think the decision shows up at this exact moment to end it. Um, but I'm pretty sure we did um, Dominance Victory last time. We'll be going for something different this time. Obviously Aragon, I'm going to focus more on controlling the Mediterranean than I am controlling Iberia. Um, but that's one alliance we got. So we have another sister here so we can get another alliance. Um... We could ally Castile directly, but usually there's a better... Can we not ally 
France? <laughs> Wait, okay, there you go. This is usually the alliance I go for right here. To grab France. It's a great alliance. You can get him directly to um, the King of France. Obviously, he won't take matrilineal, but that's fine. That is a very strong alliance when it's directly to a ruler. Um, basically, the only way that'll be broken is with his death. Alright, so with all of that, obviously, the first thing we're going to want to do is... I mean, we could struggle clash. Problem with that is... You know, we would get all of this. Mm. Duchy War would be better by one county. And it says if I do this all this week, I'm a part of my domain. So I think we're going to get our allies in, and we're going to immediately take back our duchy here. Um, then we also need to get to this guy before Toledo does. <clears throat> in fact, we actually have land we need to take off of Toledo, so that alliance is probably... Well, that may not have been... I mean, I think it was a good move, short term, but long term we're going to have to stab him in the back. Of course, we also have a royal court, because we are in fact a kingdom. Um, we've only got our house banner, not our dynasty banner, which I kind of prefer, because... Once I can just hang it over the throne and not be annoyed. We also have the skull of St. John the Evangelist. Bit of extra piety, won't say no. And it's literally just a skull. Very cool. Um, and also, we are going to go skull duggery focus. Dear God, I don't want these. <laughs> Let me just reset these right now. <laughs> I do not want the... Um, I'm sorry about that. I know I, I had mentioned maybe doing... A bit more RP focused playthrough, but I do not want to start off with that. <laughs> Fertility boosts, dear god, no, please. <laughs> He's not even like. Nothing here says to me that he would be particularly lustful. I mean, impatient, generous, and arbitrary. So I don't really think that's anything I feel bad about. If I'm holding a city. Okay. I'm sure. That. Wow. That just produced a genius <laughs> vassal. But he's not really better than anyone I already have on the council. Oh, okay. Um, we're not endorsed by our archbishop. We're going to want to change that, so we'll get to swaying him. Alright, so as soon as those allies come in, we're going to go to war to unite our primary duchy. We've got 200 caballeros at our disposal. What is this guy working with? Well, it doesn't really matter because we're not we're not going to be the one winning this war. Um, frankly, okay. So those alliances come in. Okay, that's that guy. He's probably not going to help all that much. There's the big one. He might not actually join because he doesn't like me. Um, but that's the one we really need right there. Is France. He's got no allies, and we're gonna go. So um, I believe this is a bit broken right now how these indicators work. Um, so right now you see you have these. Um, if you look really close, you've got the little lines through the blue there of the land you're conquering. Um, it's supposed to be those lines going through mean that um, you won't get that land directly. That that'll be um, that'll belong to someone you're gonna vassalize in the war. Um, and it's supposed to be a solid blue with no lines if you will get that land directly. But right now it's a bit broken and it's always the lines. So if you hover over it, it says um, all these will become a part of my domain. Which makes sense. Um, I'm fighting a hostile faith, so they should. And um, it works out fine when you do the peace deal and everything. It's just this indicator is a bit broken, I think, at the moment. But I'm going to clear the war. Is there a special building here? There is. Alright, and then we're going to call in... This guy will still accept. Um, we're going to go... A wee bit negative on prestige, but that's fine. You want to make sure you win this. Also, let's hire those... Court position... What's the best commander we've got here? Um... 
I mean, I'll take any chance for movement speed just because we kind of need to just get out of here and wait for France to come through. Um, oh, new head of the gym. Oh. Murder holes and priest holes. I'm good. I'll take the prestige. Um, I can actually pick our first dynasty legacy here because I've become dynasty head. Not really sure why I've become dynasty head, but um, let's see. I want to go for one of these two because these are the ones you know added by the um, Fade of Iberia flavor pack. So we're kind of getting a taste of both DLCs here. Um, I think I'm gonna go Metropolitan. I believe I think this one's a bit better. That Republican Education Town Maven trade is really good to have. Um, so we're gonna go for Metropolitan. Try to build up a very metropolitan Mediterranean empire. Okay. Oh, and there we go. There is something right away in action with the new update. So normally when I would play Aragon in the past, it would be a bit tenuous because you declare this war, you call in France, and France raises in Paris and has to walk all the way down here. But you see right away, France is raising right here, so they'll be able to get in a lot faster. Uh, my other ally has not raised his armies yet, but he should do... Yep, there he is. So they're both raising a bit closer, which you love to see. Big quality of life update right there, and should make the AI generally more competent. Um, we are being chased. I don't think we'll be caught. Game is very laggy right now for some reason. Um, that we do have a martial focus here, but it looks like he's gone down overseer, so he's not gotten the movement speed buff, um, which is good. Um, makes me a piece of fatty chunks of meat. What? Oh. Are you a cannibal? <laughs> oh. Well, I'll just take the butt. I don't need to know that. <laughs> you can, uh, you can do your thing. That's fine. Uh, though you do need to be married. Um, sure, that's, that's a pretty good, some good stats on that guy. Alright, so France is here, so now we're going to start pushing in. Go on the offensive. I'm see going right for my capital. If so, that's mountains, I'd be happy to fight him there. Nope, okay, we'll go to his capital. Nope. Okay, he's sieging mountains. In we go, lads. Everyone in. Oh, we're still gonna not catch him. He's just moving faster than us at every turn. And, and France just wants to fight him in the mountains. Okay. okay Toledo did not help with that at all. Um, I wish you would have Toledo. I would have appreciated that. Okay, France, I kind of need your help to sit on the siege. Okay. Because I don't have siege weapons. I guess we'll all go fight him again. <laughs> okay, guys, we've capped out the, the battle score. We need to just sit on some sieges now, okay? <laughs> and I think we wiped his army. Not quite. He has gone and allied someone pretty big. And we can grab the next Dynasty Legacy right away, so... I'll grab that. Alright, um... Squad on his ally. Not great. And we're gonna have the first child coming in. But his armies were wiped and he was captured, so war over, it doesn't matter. And you see in the peace deal it does say I will get all these directly, which is exactly what I wanted. And there we go. So we have taken back almost our entire um, duchy that we're supposed to have. Um, let's see. Let's hire a court physician. I'll hire my sister. A bit higher learning there. I know the guy with the um, wise man trait might be better, but I'll take the higher learning. Um, and 
did we get a mosque in that? I don't think we did, but we need to get to war with this guy ASAP. Um, this is what we can do by ourselves. See, this will become my vassal in both cases. In all cases, he becomes my vassal. Maybe I need to wait and he'll give me the Holy War CB and I can use that instead just for the county. I believe those are still enabled. I mean, I was able to do it to this guy. It was an option. Um, but of course, we're going to have right away, everything is going to be the wrong religion. Um, let's get our what will become our capital converted over in terms of culture and religion as quick as we can. Um, I wonder if I can also use... Hmm, I don't see it right now. The Convince de Yuri territory? I wonder if I could use that to get the one county I need off of this guy. Be interesting. But let's wait and see if we get the Holy War CB coming in on this guy. We don't. I really don't want him becoming a vassal, though, is the thing. Um... I'll wait a bit more and see. I mean, we can do it. I'll just immediately revoke. Um, considering I don't have any... It just doesn't make any sense to take this guy as a vassal. I mean, I guess, like, I am at my domain limit currently. So maybe it would make sense. This is a big, um, duchy. Here. Very large. Um... Nothing I'm holding that I shouldn't be, is there? I don't think so. Hmm. But I mean, it's fine being one over your domain limit. Like, that's completely fine. And there we go. We have our sister married to the King of France. Very cool. Yeah, I think before he goes and gets some allies, that might make this harder. I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Um, which will be cheapest? Probably this one. So, the annoying thing is that means we're going to have a truce, which makes revoking hard while we still have that. Um, I just don't see why I can't get it myself. I could go for fabricate a claim. Then I'm going to have to pay for it. Um... And this, I think it's a struggle mechanic that Holy Wars are available. No, I think... Hmm. Holy Wars cannot be declared. But I had the option to declare a Holy War. Like, I 100% did. It's so weird. I don't know. I kind of just want to grab it because um, we could have Toledo go in for it. So I think it just I just need to grab it. I don't need to fabricate a claim. I just need to go. And you can go back to converting faith in our eventual capital. It's hills. Um, it's April, so we finally get winter. <laughs> But, we win this anyway. Um, honestly, I don't want to be best friends with anyone. I, honestly, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> so I think this makes sense. But also, like, that just means a ton of stress whenever he dies. Like, I don't even know who that guy is. Who is that guy? Is it in my memories? My new memory thing? I became friends with him in 1055. Hey, that was before I even started, so... We have some. We have a son, so we'll start educating him right away. Oh, that was easy. Um. Hmm. Oh, giving my vassal for the time being. We'll fix that uh, once the truce is up. 
that is just this one county now under my control. I'm definitely going to want to usurp this as soon as I can. So if we can get Pope money at some point, that'd be lovely. We can also ransom this guy. Let's also get control going up. I see. I think we want to push it towards... Oh, there we go. You can take decisions. It's right there. Um, I think I like... Detente. I think this is the one I haven't done in terms of ending the struggle. Um, so we complete all other independent... Okay, well we just kind of have to wait for things to settle a bit and then get some alliances going. Um, sure, I'll take new courtiers. Why not? Oh, she's just um, a guest. Okay. Well, I can't afford to recruit guests right now. Yeah, I mean, I want to hold all of I want to hold all of Aragon and Valencia, you know, kind of like what Aragon has at the start of um, U4. Um, sharing deep reflections and salacious jokes with my ally, the Emir of Toledo. Um, actually, having fun. It's all because of this guy's company. He doesn't really like me all that much, but I guess we're just chilling. Um, sure, I'll be friends with him. I guess. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm gonna need to fight these guys eventually, but I don't have. To, I guess I don't have to fight that guy specifically. I can fight whoever takes over after him. Where is that decision? Or that counselor task? Convince a Yuri territory. I know it's a counselor task. I just don't know where. Anyway, um, so if we want to go for a detente, we need to push it towards conciliation. Um. Okay. Um, learn the language of an involved ruler. I very rarely see it go to conciliation. <laughs> um, so, I, I, yeah, I feel like it always goes to hostility. Is the phase I've only ever seen it go to. Um, and, you know, I still need to, like, I need to fight wars. I need to unite some of this territory here. So I can't just ignore that. Um, I could just let this guy go after I... Um, sure. Cool, he gained an opinion of me. I'll sway him a bit more, but then we'll start going to the, um, to the Pope. Oh! Wait, what? I didn't even know that was happening. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, two sons, great start. Oh, and you're attacking in a tyranny war, where you're vastly outnumbered. I'm not actually going to help with that, but you have fun. I mean, I guess I could. No, I need money. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Um, I went back to my castle after a long, long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born this day 28 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years, so it saddens me that I've not heard from my wife Isabel or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers, loneliness impending my lazy feet when I hear a clang and hush whispers from down the hallway. Oh, it's my birthday. Why is my birthday was just January 1st? Is that his actual birthday or did they just not know? So they, oh, whatever. What a surprise. All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of my life. There is even an entire table laden with pomegranate cakes, my favorite. His favorite is pomegranate cakes. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgot about me. Can I believe that Isabel went to all the trouble of arranging this in secret? I had not a clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend, the Duke of Toledo, approaches me, struggling to carry these beautiful black packages. Ever the trickster, he says, I have three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? I will take the medium-sized gift. Jemina Revelry. 
Okay. So that was a new event. Very fun. Um, kind of makes me feel bad that I'm... Well, my <laughs> my wife arranged that party for me, and I'm about to just let her brother be imprisoned. Because um, <laughs> I'm not helping with this. <laughs> He's even hired mercs? Like, yeah, no way. I'm not helping with this. I can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And I could, but I need money. <laughs> a wounded and disillusionary mercenary group has arrived at this county. I think I've had this event before. I think this is a struggle for Iberia event. <clears throat> um, I'd rather not lose money. That seems to be the only way to... I don't know. Um, how much does my wife helping me with diplomacy make this change? Okay, that makes it more likely for me to get the good outcome. Okay. Oh, thank you. Very cool. Appreciate that. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on when this truce is up with this guy. And then we'll go in... Wait, no, it's this guy. Then we'll go in and grab that. But I think that's a good place to end episode one here. So um, good start there. That is uh, what you want to do at the beginning of Zaragon, is just take back uh, your day or your land. But I'm looking forward to how this might be a bit different with the struggle mechanics and to see some of those new events like we got in this episode. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.